Hello everyone. Welcome to the day 6 of Frontend Mentor Challenges. And today we are going to take a newbie challenge. And this is the challenge we are going to take single price grid component. It is a easy one, but you need to have proper knowledge about the CSS grid system to make this work. Let's just go and download the starter files. So it has been downloaded so I will just open this up and extract all of the contents in the desktop. We can open up the design files to see how it looks like. And this is the desktop preview. And this is what it looks like in mobile size display. Let's open this folder up by the Visual Studio code. I will zoom in the index.html to make it visible. Now let's clean this up. We don't need these comments here and also we don't need the footer. Now this is the test. It is actually a plain test so we need to create our markup. So we can put all these things up in a container and maybe a wrapper. So we can put the grid system on the wrapper and then make a layout to align these items properly. So there are actually three items and this items got a padding as the same value of this three. But the background colors are a little bit different. So let's at first create a container. And this container will contain another div with the class of wrapper. So we are going to apply the display grid on this. Now we are going to put three divs inside this wrapper. So these three divs will be these three boxes. So let's give them a class of box and also a separate class. So we are going to use the box class to add the padding but to add the background color we can use a separate class name. So at first, this is our title. I will put it inside an H2 tag. Sorry, H1 tag. After that, we got a subtitle. So let's use the H3 and put the subtitle. There are simple paragraph text after that, this one. So there are actually two different lines, not a, a single paragraph. So I will put them in two different paragraph tags. This is the first line and let's add a separate line for this one. And once we done that we can create another div and it will also have the class of box and also a separate class so let's say sub because it is about the subscription. So again we can use the h2 tag here because we cannot use h1 tag in a single page twice. So I will just use the h2 tag and add the title which is the monthly subscription. This is the title and now let's add another tag here but before that let's have a look in the design. So we got two text in here the first one is the dollar value then per month and as you can see they are in the same line at the middle so we can use an flex box on it let's use an s5 tag here at first i'm going to use an span tag let's give this a class of price it will contain this text After that, let's use another span. We don't need to specify any class here. It will contain the per month text. Once we have done that, we need to add an button here. Actually, there will be a text than the button. So I will put the text inside a paragraph tag here. Let's grab this and paste it here. 
after that we can put this sign up in an anchor tag so this box is done now let's move on to the next one box and it will have a class of hoi as or maybe only hoi okay now inside this there are actually a title and some list items so we can put the title as like this on in a h2 this is the text after that i will just create an another list then inside this there will be the list items so let's grab the text and create the list items let's copy this several time and replace all the text we are almost done and we are done so this is our markup and let me open this up by the live server extension and this is what it looks like now we need to make it look like this that's why let's create an style file style.css and we need to link it with the index.html link colon css the aim it will do the rest of the work now let's open the styleguide.md and we need to import the font so let's open this up in the chrome and we need to import 400 and 700 400 and the 700 let's use the import i'll just paste it here after that let's use the margin 0 and padding 0 so it is the reset it is going to reset the default margin and padding of the browser now after that let's target the body and give this the font family of this on carla let's paste it here and we are done with the font let's close this actually i have done that before now we got a font size for the body which will be the 16 pieces so i'll just grab this and paste it here so we want to push this entire thing in the center so what i'm going to do is i will add a minimum height of 100 viewport height then make it a display of flex align items will be center so it should be center now let's target the container and give this a maybe a maximum weight although we don't need that but let's do it 960 pixels and in order to make it center we need to use a margin of 0 and auto now it is at the center now i am going to target the wrapper here so we are going to apply the display grid on that display will be grid but now we need to have some plan on that but before getting into that uh, let's use an border radius of 7 pixels maybe to make the corners rounded also we need to apply background color with the body light gray this is the color for the body let's grab this and apply as a background okay now we are going to target the wrapper here we don't need to apply any background color with that because we are going to do that separately but if you want you can also do that let's give this a background color of white for now and it got the border radius and everything so now let's talk about the grid system in here so we can apply 
two items in a simple row so the first item here which is this box on or it got the class name of join so it will have this inter two fraction then these two will only take half we can actually do that very easily with the css grid system so we have actually declared the display grid here downs now let's make the grid template columns 50 percent and 50 percent so it will going it is going to divide the entire thing into two separate fraction of 50 percent and 50 percent so it will be half now it will look like this if you want to inspect and see this this got this uh, little bracket here says great if you hover on that you can see that this dotted line now it is going to be divided into four I, four spaces like this because we have divided it into 50% and 50% and we got two rows but we actually don't want it like this right so we want the first item which is the join div to take the entire two space so we can actually do that the property for that will be grid template areas and we can specify the areas you can give it whatever name you want it doesn't matter you can use a a and so this will be the first row and the second row we don't need to apply any comma here let's say b and c so let's say this a here is the first div which is this join div and b is this one the box with the class of sub and the c is this one so in here at the first row there will be total a so the a will be two times because we have divided it into two columns now at the second row it will be b at the first one and c in the second space okay but it doesn't work like this so we need to specify it with the class so for that we need to target the join on so this is the first box and we need to specify the grid area and it will be a which is similar as this you can give it whatever name you want you can use x y z anything but this grid area value will be the same as this one okay now it is taking the interoid here so the rest of the things like the second one which got the class name of sub it will be the grid area of b and the third one third one got a class name of y it will be grid area of c so this is the thing now let's uh, give these things a background color because all of this got different type of background colors so let's target the first one which is actually white and it is already applied so i will not do anything else there but for the second one which is the sub let's give this a background color and we can get the color from here so this is the cyan color let's grab this and paste it here now it is taking this space now for this one they haven't provided us with any colors but as you can see this is kind of lighter than this cyan color so what i'm going to do is i will just copy this and paste it here we can actually increase this l value so let's make it 63 percent now it is similar with this one you can also make it darker let's say Sixty percent.
or maybe 50 okay it looks similar to me so now I will just target the box here who has got all the items and apply a padding with that so let's try 40 pieces I think it will have a nice padding all around this now I will just style all of the taste and other things so these things are done now let's target the ASON which is the title and for the ASON it will have this color which is the cyan and this on the subtitle got this color of yellow let's target the ASON and change the color first so I think this is the color so I'll just copy this and paste it here after that let's make the font size to 26 pixels it will be a smaller than the current font size let's also add some padding at the bottom to create some gap with the subtitle 20 pixels okay it's fine now I style this one so it got this H3 text right so I'll change the color first it is the yellow color bright yellow again we need to add a padding at the bottom of maybe 12 pixels so these two are done now let's move on to this one this is just a normal paragraph text but we are going to target only the paragraph text in the join div because otherwise it will affect all of the text here but the colors as you can see is not the same so i will just give them a color of this one which is the grayish blue let's copy this and paste it here let's also add a line height with that maybe on point 4 so it will have some gap between the lines and it looks similar with this one now let's move on to the next thing which is this one now it got the is to tag here and these two are the same so we can actually target the is to and the color of that is white so triple f after that let's make the font size to 20 pixels and we need to also add a padding bottom maybe 15 pixels it looks fine now let's target this one so we are going to apply the display flex on this then make it center by applying align item center so this is got the ace 5 tag here ace 5 so let's target the ace 5 and make it a display of flex then align items will be center also let's add a padding at the bottom padding bottom of maybe 10 pixels let's save and now it should be perfect but we need to increase the font size here to make it totally visible okay so let's target the s5 then the s pen with the class of price which is the dollar and the value so in this case I will make the color totally white then let's make the font size to 28 pixels and the font weight will be bold so 700 let's also add a padding at the right to create some gap with the small text so maybe 10 pixels now it looks fine so let's target this on and make it white 
also in this case we need to change the font weight because this is not bold so again target the is 5 with the span because it also got the span tag here so color will be this one the light gray which is the general color for the paragraph here now let's make the font weight to actually i missed a semicolon here that's why the auto suggestion is not working now it should be 40 400 because we have only imported 400 and 700 and it looks fine let's target this paragraph test and then this button so for the paragraph test in the sub let's make the color to white and when we done that let's target the sub and the anchor tag so we want to make it display block because we need to take the entire weight of the viewport so this entire space you can get it can get inside this box display block now let's make the test align center also we need to add a background color and which will be the bright yellow color let's grab this and paste it here okay it looks fine but we need to remove the underline and also we need to add some padding So let's do that. Let's make the test decoration none and the color of the test will be totally white. Let's make the font weight to 800 which will be the bold and I'm going to increase the font size a little bit to 13 pixels. Let's add the padding now. We only need the padding at top and bottom not at the left and right so it will be zero. Let's also make the border radius of 4 pixels and we want to create some gap with the top so margin top of 30 pixels let's save now we got nice gaps and everything also if you want you can also add a box shadow, shadow with it now let's move on to these things so it got a div of with the class of high and I will just target the another list to make the list style none now the dots here should be gone and it is gone now I will target the high and li to make the colors white so triple f Let's make the padding bottom a little bit to create some gap between these items like 4 pixels and now it looks fine but if you think the tested bigger than it is you can apply a font size here maybe 14 pixels ok it looks fine So this looks fine for the larger size display but as you can see the border radius isn't working in here. So I will make a overflow hidden with the class of prepper. Overflow will be hidden. Let's save and okay now it is fine. Now for a smaller size display we need to break down the columns and also we need to add some margins with the wrapper so let's add a margin here like in top and bottom let's say 2 rem but from left and right on rem now it will have some gap at the left and right it looks fine but in here it doesn't look good so what we can do is we can add a breakpoint with this 425 pixels then whenever the window size will be smaller than this we need to create it look like this so let's create a media query media only 
screen and we need to apply a max height of 425 pixels now let's target the wrapper here and we want to change the grid template columns to 100% now we don't need to divide it into two separate halves after that let's target the grid template areas and in this case it will be a then the next one will be again b and the third one will be the c now it looks similar with the design right it looks fine so i will not do anything else here but if you want you can decrease the padding with that so let's target the box here and let's reduce the padding a little bit I think before the padding was 40 pixels so I will just make it 30 a little bit less than that okay this looks better so this is our design here and if you want to do more modifications you can also make the font size smaller but let's not do that it actually does look good on mobile displays so yeah this is our today's project and tomorrow we are going to do another challenge from that so if you want to see this i will add this in the code pen and you will have the link in the description below Thank you very much for watching this far and if you are not subscribed yet please don't forget to subscribe. See you tomorrow with another project or challenge. Until then take care and goodbye.